Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert from decimal to octal, hexadecimal and binary. So to start off with I'm going from decimal to octal and the number I'm using is 40.25. So the first step is to use powers of 8 and this is because we're going to octal now. So 8 to the power of 0. And you just want to keep going up until the last power will be higher than the number you want to convert. So 8 to the power of 1. 8 to the power of 2. And so 8 to the power of 0, that equals 1. 8 to the power of 1 equals 8. And 8 to the power of 2, that equals 64. So at the moment we're just going to work with the whole part of the number and then we'll do the fractional part um, later because you have to do that a little bit differently. So the next step is now just to write 40 above this last row, last column here. And then you go, how many times does 60 fit into 40? Uh, like perfectly, so it doesn't. So you just put a zero there. And now you bring the 40 across. And you say, how many times does 8 perfectly fit into 40? Well, that fits 5 times. And then you write the remainder now above the next column. The remainder is 0. So, 0 divided by 1, 0. Okay, so this part here, that's the answer for the whole part. And now let's just do the fractional part, which is 0.25. And we say 0.25 multiplied by 8. And that equals 2.0. And because that fits perfectly, there's no fractional part, we know to stop there. And the part of the answer you take is this part here. So when you put this all together, your final answer will be 50.2. And now to show that this is an octal form, you just write a subscript 8 down the bottom there. And that's the final answer. So for the second example, I'm going from decimal to hexadecimal. And the process is very much the same, except this time we're using powers of 16 because we're going to hexadecimal, and hexadecimal is base 16. Okay, so the first step is to go like this. 16 to the power of 0. 16 to the power of 1. 16 to the power of 2. And then if we just write these out, 16 to the power of 0 equals 1. 16 to the power of 1 equals 16. And then 16 to the power of 2 equals 256. And we don't have to do any more because 256 is larger than 40. And again, we'll just do the whole part of the number and we'll do the fractional part last. Okay, so what we do now is you write the number you want to convert above. And then you divide... By this number here. So 40 divided by 256 will be 0. And now we carry the 40 across. 40 divided by 16. Um, that'll fit twice and there's going to be a remainder. So put 2 here and the remainder is 8. And then you say 8 divided by 1 that equals 8. Okay, So this will be the, the whole part of our number, of our answer. Now we'll do the fractional part, which is again it's 0.25. So you say 0.25 multiplied by 16 and that will perfectly equal 4.0. 
So we can stop now because there's no remainder. It fits perfectly. And the part of the answer we take is this four here. And then when you put that together, we'll get 28.4. And now to show that this is in hexadecimal form, let's write a subscript 16 there, which is just a miniature 16 at the bottom. And that's the final answer for that one. And for the last example, I'm going from decimal to binary. And it's very similar again. It's the exact same process, except this time we use uh, powers of 2 to multiply and divide by it. Because binary is base 2. So, I'll start with 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the power of 6. Um, okay, so now if we work these out, 2 to the power of 0 equals 1, equals 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. Oh, and we stop here because 64 is larger than the number we want to convert. And then we write the number we want to convert at the top there. Again, just working with the whole part. We'll do the fractional part last. And then you divide. So 40 divided by 64. This will be 0. Carry the 40 across. 40 divided by 32. It will be 1 with a remainder of 8. So, 8 divided by 16, that'll be 0. We carry 8 across. 8 divided by 8, that'll be 1. With the remainder of 0. And then 0 divided by 4, this will be 0. Carry the 0 across. 0 divided by 2, that'll be 0. Carry the 0 across. 0 divided by 1, that'll also be 0. Okay, so. You can see now that this has actually just come out as a series of zeros and ones. So this is in binary form now. And this bottom part will be the answer for the whole part. Okay, so the next step now is just to do the fractional part, which is 0.25. And to do this, we just do it like we did the other time. So 0.25 multiplied by 2. And remember, we're using 2 because we're going to binary, and binary is base 2. So 0 0.25 times 2 equals 0 0.5. And in this occasion, unlike the other two examples, we've got a fractional part here. So what you do is you draw a line to the left of the decimal point, and now you take what's on the right here and you carry it across to the front here. So 0.5 will bring it over the beginning here. And now we say 0.5 times 2 equals. And 0.5 times 2 equals 1.0. Okay, and now that we've got a 0 here, we know that we can stop. And this part here will be your answer for the fractional part. Okay, and when you write this out in the end, you write from top to bottom. So what your answer will look like is your answer will be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, point, top to bottom, 0, 1. And now to show that this is in binary form, you just write the two on the bottom there, subscript 2. Um, now if you like, you may notice that there's 0 at the front. You don't have to keep that front 0. You can just scribble that out and your answer will be the same. And that's all. Thanks.